The following production is part of the We Be Geeks podcast collective. All this has happened before. Hey kids, Townsend Coleman here, the voice of Michelangelo from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tom Kane, this is the voice of Yoda on Star Wars. Hey yo, it's Wobat, and a big yee-haw to you all. I used to be Luke too. Hi, my name is Oli Shoshan. I play Jedi Master Shakti. Hi, Butch Patrick here, Eddie Munster. Hi, this is Jim. Hi, this is Bill Farmer. You're listening to the Neverland Podcast. Welcome to Neverland, to Disney and beyond. And it will all happen again. And now your head lost boy, the Spider Pan. Walk on the eyes of East Pan. Jeremy. Take your pixie out of your pockets, Neverlanders. Uh, sprinkle some of that. Of course, that Phil's got to act this all out. <laughs> Take that pixie out of your pocket. Sprinkle some pixie dust around. We're taking flight to Neverland. Hi there! I'm the guy that you just heard about. I am your spider fan, Jeremy. I had Lost Boy around here. And as I mentioned, Phil's with me. Lost Boy Phil. Hello. Woo! Hello we there. Call him the Kryptonian. And uh, well, this, uh, this hopefully won't be too much of like a short show. I know we, I, uh, I meant to have a show last weekend. Things just kind of didn't work out. I want to give y'all a little bit of update. So uh, I think I've probably mentioned that in August I was going to hear something about you know, the radio station that I was working at, uh, that uh, on whether or not you know because you know they were going to make a decision on the third quarter on hopefully being, bringing everybody back that was furloughed. Well, they didn't make a decision. They didn't like stringing everybody on, so I'm officially terminated. So I'm officially unemployed. Uh, so with that, and I, I've. With, with all the new, you know, finding that out, I've been kind of focused on uh, new, finding new, new work, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so uh, last week and everything just kind of fell apart a little bit. Uh, and Eric couldn't make the show. Uh, I'll let him, if he wants to tell you all about it, I'll let him. I don't know what's all going on with him, but I know he had uh, had some times going on. He had something happening. Uh, but it's not my business to know if he doesn't want to, if he doesn't say anything, and it's not my business to tell you. And you know, so but that, yeah, that's beside the point. <laughs> Hi, Phil. How you been? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, as Bubba Jay would say. I've been watching too much Jeff Dunham, Jeff Dunham on uh, YouTube. I can't even say his name. I should have gone through my speech thing. See, this is actually something I learned in school. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. It kind of warms your mouth up and gets your tongue flying. I can't even say the teeth. I can't even do it. You get to where you do that fast. That way you can enunciate and pronounce and you can talk fast enough and you may actually make sense. Well, Jeremy, keep trying with that latter part. Keep trying with that. So, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm there. working at it. I'm, I'm working joking, at it. brother. I'm joking. Okay, but you probably notice the sound is a little different. We're using digital recorder. We're over at Phil's house. We was uh, I was been helping you move some stuff around. Mm-hmm. You bet. Your divorce is finalized. For anyone who's yep. curious about that, so we're yep. making sure you get all of your 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 stuff that you've had to put in storage all this time. You are yep. you are making a museum down in the uh, I area. Am. I'm a, a museum of nerdiness and fun. Oh yes, because because we're, we're the great thing about it is is we're going to be living back a sentimentality of childhood fun, and, and that's what I like to do. I, I, again, it's like Neverland itself, going back into memory of fun. And I enjoy that. I look at little things, just little trinkets here and there, and it takes me back to my childhood. It takes me back to the, the memories of joy. Oh, yes. And we went after it yesterday. Okay, so for any of you who doesn't know, because I haven't really covered this so much, but so, and I guess Mattel is the one who's releasing these, because uh, they've done some figures through Super 7, mm-hmm. which is like the Filmation style Masters of the Universe, yeah. which are awesome. But now they've got these Masters of the Universe Origins figures. Uh-huh. And I have been looking. Well, we went because we went mainly because you were you found a deal for a 4K TV. Yeah. But we went through like like two different WalMarts, Target, and not only of course were we looking to get you you know a Blu-ray 4K player and all this stuff. You know this stuff you were trying to get to be useful, but we were having some toy sections looking. I just want a He-Man and a Skeletor for crying out loud, and I couldn't. They were sold out everywhere. Yeah. These toys are selling and, like mad. And the one that I'm going for is the like I'm getting ready to order like the as seen on TV. That's the ones I'm going for. Yeah, those are the Super Seven ones. Yeah, because Super I, Seven makes great toys. I, I, I like those because, as for me, when I think of He Man, now don't get me wrong, I really like this new, this new line. But I like I like the ones that are like the television. Yeah, I like show. the TV show just because it's it's such memory. And it's it's because they are a lot like the old toys, which I still have a lot of my old ones. Uh, yeah, you put it on a shelf. Yeah, and but I I kind of like the thought of it, the way it's the the newer ones that are like the show. They're just like the old show, the old toy line, except that they look like you 
knew them yeah, on TV. And TV. that's kind of fun because really what the, the toys came out first, of course, for most of them. That's why uh, people like, uh, oh, what's her name? The Empress. She was uh, the better Not toy. The, but the, uh, the sorceress. The sorceress. Oh, excuse yeah. me. The sorceress. She was the better toy of all of them. Harder to find back when yeah. I was a kid. Oh, boy. But she was the better of all of them because she, the, the cartoon made her before she's ever told. And same with, uh, uh, what's her name? Evil Lynn. Because she wasn't a toy first. She was a character for first. And so those two character toys look so much better than all the others because they are based off the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unlike all the other characters. Now, Orko was the same way, except his toy didn't look very great at the time. It's fun, though. I love it. But <laughs> it's they, fun. It's, it's Orko. Just that, it's just, well, I'm talking about for the fact that they could not make the toy look great. It, it looked like the cartoon very yeah, much back yeah. then. You, you had to make round ears because the pointy ears would point the kids in the eye and all that kind of stuff. And I do recall having a slightly pointy eared kind of, I was slightly rounded off at the end. Of yeah. It, but I did have an Orko. Yeah, oh, I still have one. I, uh, you still have yours. <laughs> yeah, I, there's a lot of toys I wish to still You remember you, you pull them and he'd he had his little thing. Yeah, he made, to I, well, it's not really pull string. It's a it's the little thing where you you load it in mean. there, and it had like the gear it teeth, spin it. and you'd pull in his little gear teeth, and he had a little spinning metal piece at the bottom yep. to make him just go zany it was like around a top. On the table. Yeah, like a top. Yeah, yeah you spin it, and he, he goes, Ooh, and he would go crazy. It, it was a fun little because because that's what he was. I mean, he was yeah. a nut. <laughs> and I remember I only had I had Skeletor, I had a man at arms, I had a Tila. But to make Tila look like the cartoon, take that snake piece off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a I th- they did utilize that later in the DC when they got the license for comics. They kind of connected her with the, like the Snake Man. Yeah. And the, the, she was actually going to be the next line to be a sorceress uh, as yeah. well. Because she, uh, she was kind of connected to her mother who yeah, is pretty the sorceress. much the sorceress. Yeah. You know, that uh, she but they also connected her in with the Snake Man. Like she was actually the, the heir to the throne there. Yeah. So it was very interesting how they – and I haven't gotten all the comics. I, I've been going through a lot of my comics because I'm still you know, uh, backing and you know, bagging them and backing them and putting them in bins. And I've been getting to find, um, like, I, I think I've got a few, uh, quite a few duplicate issues, even of some X Men. But uh, what was like? I've got, I forgot that this happened more than once because there is a Marvel versus DC, yeah. and then there's a JLA versus Avengers. Mm. There's two different times, and there's there's a, a, a one is in the nineties, one was like early two thousands. I am, I've got like both of them. I've got issues two and three. I'm, I'm missing issues issues one and four of those. I may have to track them down, but yeah. I'm finding those issues, I found my "What if the Punisher became Captain America?" Oh, that'd be fun. I'm getting a lot. I even found where I have the original Star Wars number one. It's a really terrible condition because that's the way I found um, it. I bought it that way. I don't know if I have it now. It's but, worth but getting. For, for a time, I had a to- the toy line of uh, the Star Wars comic book. Oh, where they were making them look like the comics, and that was pretty fun. Yeah, it was fun. But as I was saying, but also like. The Masters of the Universe, because I have Masters of the Universe comics that were from the newer cartoon, yeah. from uh, like yeah. 2001, 2002. I had those. Yeah. So, but I got some of those comics, but I also got some of the DC comics, even where they mixed. I didn't, I didn't get the entire series, but they have Masters of the Universe uh, meeting up with the Injustice Universe mm-hmm. from the games, Fun. where they were going to bring in He-Man to battle Superman, I, the I evil ha- Superman. I have the old comic book somewhere. So, but that's where they got into the, the Tila thing. making. Her I had the old comic book of Superman and He-Man together. That was fun. The old classic yeah, one? Yeah. They, and, the, and that was a lot of fun. Um, they, they had a toy lines based on that. Whenever the DC had uh, the toy line, the newer ones, you know. Ooh. They had those two together where you could get Superman and He-Man together. And I thought that oh, was pretty awesome. Yeah, I that was I a, few, a few that. years ago. Yeah. yeah. I would love to have gotten that. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot awesome. of these Smash Universe toys are really overpriced. But these origin figures, $15, which is still a lot. We used to pay $5 for, yeah. for an X-Men. Well, it man. is about 30-something years later, though. Yeah. Well, see, the toy market now is kids aren't playing with toys, but collectors want them. Yeah, I know it. And, and they boy, they got me by the coattails yesterday. Remember we saw... They, they have some new Spider-Man figures out. They're based off the animated series. Before you go there, before you go into the Spider-Man, I apologize. The, the, there's another thing going on, though, with these He-Mans. The reason why they're bringing them out for the, in the kids' line as well is because they got two new He-Man cartoons. Two yeah. new He-Man cartoons coming out. And so the kids will Kevin be Kevin Smith is them. still making one. Uh-huh. And, and so is the other line. So there's two new 
cartoons coming out for Netflix. So yes, kids will be watching. So too, because we got a Shira series, which I haven't watched because yeah. they were. I, I don't think they did a good job. Of I, I'm not much for money. Yeah, but Kevin Smith is. I'm excited about what he's doing. Yeah, he's there's, building there's, there's off two the original new He-Man series. Cartoon. What's, what's the yeah. other ones? I can't remember that what's, one. I know because I haven't heard anything about any others. Yeah, other there's than two Kevin of them. Smith, and then they've already got a Shira. Yeah, there's two of them, but I can't remember what which one the other one is. I forgot what the one Kevin Smith was making, but. Um, Mark Hamill is involved with... The, yeah, and that's the Kevin Skeletor. Smith one. Yeah. Mark Hamill is involved with... Uh, but anyway, so like on the Spider-Man figures, so I'm going to yes. come back to Netflix because we need to talk to you about what sure. you've been watching on Netflix. But so we, we, I couldn't find an actual Spider-Man figure, but I saw like there's Electro and a Green Goblin. These were going 20 bucks and a pop there. And a Peter. But the cool thing is they had a Gwen Stacy figure. That was neat. She never appeared in the animated series, but Gwen Stacy, you can swap her head for a Mary Jane head. And that was cool. So you're getting two characters in one figure. That was neat. And I, I almost bought it, but I was like, well, that's 20 bucks for that thing? What I like about I like, that. That's more than I want to pay. What I, I like I'm about the, money. the new lines that they're doing like that is it's based off the old uh, toy biz yeah, toys. yeah. So they're like toy biz. The toy biz. And you see it for five bucks. Yeah, but they're like the old toy biz. It's like the old cartoon yeah. and all that stuff. At the same time, they put a lot of the modern with it too. So like that's why they had the Gwen and all that stuff. And that you can do a little bit of both. It's kind of yeah. like a combination. I like that. That's but, cool. Well, I'm, I'm, I might end up at some point getting those just because. I mean, I'm I really I ain't got money to throw at stuff, especially now because I'm unemployed. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I'm working on that. Y'all, y'all who are praying, people are praying pocket. for me. Keep a pixie in your pocket. I am, I am following up on some leads. I am gonna get my butt back to work. And uh, well, I don't want to get too much on it. Yeah, I'll just skip what I was about to say because I just don't. I don't want to have people getting mad because either way, somebody's gonna get mad. Uh, but I am. I am. You know. The, the new stimulus thing was an executive order, and I'm actually pretty thankful for that. I'm just going to leave it at that because people are going to... Yeah. You can't make people happy no matter what you say on stuff. So, moving on. Uh, uh, but yeah, so, but the, the other thing, though, I found... All right, and I want to give this y'all under advisement. If you are looking for the child, or baby Yoda, as we call him in The Mandalorian, all right, Walmart had, like, what, $25 and a $35, two different ones, and they're kind of a hard plastic. I think they do something when you... You know, electronic or whatever, and that's all fine and good. But my recommendation, because what I wanted was a plush that would be kind of a fun little huggable. Target, twelve ninety eight has a pretty good sized plush, and it's 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 baby sized really. It's but it's a pretty good sized plush of uh, of a baby Yoda. I'm gonna call him that so we all know what we're talking about. So that's my recommendation. I got that yesterday. I, I just love it. It's I put him in the little in my my bedroom. He's sitting up on top of some stuff. Uh, so I, I, I just if you want a plastic whatever thing you can find that at Target or at Walmart but at Walmart I did not see a plush Target has a plush so if you're looking for a plush that's where you can find one but also while you're shopping we, oh, heck you showed me some stuff yesterday at Hallmark this year for Christmas ornaments Haunted Mansion mm -hmm. the Hitchhiking, Hitchhiking Ghost I don't know how big this thing is it's 40 bucks Plays the Haunted Mansion. It does does like the opening, yeah. Uh, the opening narration plays the music. Plays some ballroom music. Lights up and it lights up in kind of spooky ways. Yeah. It doesn't just light up. I mean, it's like yeah, flickering and, and blinking. Yeah. Oh my goodness! They all, of course they have of course some really great Disney ones every year at home. Oh, they always do. I, I, that Haunted Mansion one just got me going. Oh, one of the <laughs> things I really love though, and you know, <laughs> things in trouble, make me call things call. that you you don't think that they could do again. How many times are they going to make Cinderella, Snow White, or whoever? But, but they, do have but they find a way. Year. They find a way every year to kind of surprise you. Like, okay, how many times can you make Cinderella showing off her shoe or whatever? <laughs> yeah. And yet, somehow they do it, and they do a good job. Yeah. Oh, I was excited because this year they they bring they have the Hall of Justice, and yeah, I'm a, I'm, I yeah. love I love the Hall of Justice. It's one of my favorite things. You know, I just yeah. love it. So if you're Hallmark.com, you can probably look up. And oh yes. stuff. you can pre-order some things. Oh already. yeah, yeah. Speaking of pre-order, when I was uh, I don't know, I was looking around at some stuff. I did find that there is a Masters in the Universe Uno $7.99 uh -huh. that I, I pre-ordered. It's coming. So I don't. I think it's coming out later in August. But there's speaking of Master Universe, some stuff. So yeah, we're talking a lot of different kind of toys. But that's what we did yesterday. We went and you bought a lot of wrestlers. You got an Elizabeth I toy. Did. 
I, Miss Elizabeth with Macho Man, for those not catching up with me. Yeah, we're all over the place, right? We now. were all, but we, we had some fun yesterday. We just, because, I'm, I'm sorry, being unemployed, I get a little depressed. When I get depressed, I end up spending money. I don't, it's it's bad. Which is not, yeah, not I, wise financially not whatsoever. Wise, <laughs> but, you, but, hey, I, I'm not putting you down. It's a, it's a lash out to just do something to make me feel better. And a little nostalgia, and a little, you know, and that's how I decorate my, my office and is toys. And we even found a, it was about the same price. It was about fifteen dollars. Uh, the real Ghostbusters. They they re released. They even put the Kenner logo on the package, mm-hmm. like old oh, the old Ghostbusters. Who was it that bought Kenner? I I want to say Mattel, but I might not be right. I don't know. I, Wait, I, I, I can look that right. up later. So but right yeah, up. but but they re they're Walmart exclusives because we don't have Toys R Us anymore. Now, now I've seen some videos. I think I don't know if it was Pixel Dan or some other uh, YouTube person was complaining that they don't think Walmart's handling. Pre-orders very well. They've had some trouble, but you know Walmart's not used to focusing on toys. But collectors have have specific demands. The the ones that are like super serious. Me, I just wanted someone. And uh, since you gave me, you had like duplicates of the old original, like a Peter and a Ray. You know, without the, the without their gear and some old ghosts and everything, which appreciate that some old duplicate no to, oh, oh, extra toys you had. I bought myself an Egon, and I'm I don't know if I'm going to keep him in the package. Or take him out so he matches with the other ones, but they they look great. They look just like the old real Ghostbusters toy line, and I, I kind of like I like the package. So even if I take him out of the package, I'm going to keep the backboard because it's so cool. And you know, considering that you have so many different like retro toys come out, like they you know they had an anniversary. Oh, Hasbro bought Kenner. Okay, and the, the, I think they own Parker Brothers. Is that what I'm saying? Kenner Parker. Yeah. Maybe that's part of Parker Brothers. I don't know. Um, but they re-released for, like, anniversary some Ninja Turtle toys that were, like, the old Playmates ones. But they put an astronomically ridiculous price on them. I mean, I don't want to pay $50 for a toy. I ain't got no. that kind of money. Because I'm just going to hang it on the wall and look at yeah. it and appreciate it. And, and it makes me feel good to have it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I ain't got that kind of cash flow. So... Oh, I would fifteen dollars is still a lot, but I, I it feels more reasonable to me yeah. than fifty bucks, you know. And although I still really want those Ninja Turtles that are making made to look like the old eighties animated series that they come two turtles and or two characters in a package, I'm still eyeballing those. So those are like twenty five. That's not bad for two figures. Yeah, I just don't always have the money for that. But one of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna get it, gadget. <laughs> Next time, gadget, whatever. I got them on the way. <laughs> you ordered those? Yeah, oh, they're on the way. I'm, I'm gonna find me yeah. some because those are great. Because well, we have a lot of the great. The only toys. why I, I did is because it's, it's he comes with actually more gadgets at, than the original big one. And the, oh, you mean like Inspector Gadgets? Mm-hmm. What you wore? Okay, I, I thought that's we were talking about Ninja yeah, Turtles. Well, you said gadget. <laughs> and you jumped into yeah, Inspector Sorry. Gadget, the new new Inspector Gadget. Because yeah. you had an Inspector Gadget when you were a kid. Yeah. It was like one of your favorite I, I, toys. Well, here's what happened. I kept trying to order that because that's like one of my f- favorite things I ever got from, from Santa Claus. And uh, so I tried very hard to get that again. And on the night that I just so happy to look for it, that came out for pre-order. And that don't come out till well, Christmas. Huh. Uh, right after Christmas, like a couple of days after Christmas this year. And uh, so I should be getting that. But this time, it comes because I've ordered all the characters that they, they're bringing out. Inspector Gadget, Penny, Brain, Mine. and what's his name? The, uh, the uh, Sergeant. Chief? The Chief, yeah. And he comes in uh, the, the little trash can. So he can <laughs> pop out of a trash can. It, it, it's a whole scene, like a whole set. And you, Ooh, and you, you could have a, a brain comes like a disguise. Of course he and, does. And Penny, you can change your face, like her head and everything. And oh, Spencer right. Gadget has all these gadgets you put on them. And, but anyway, it was fun. I think it looked uh, like the it's old cart- series. Cause yeah, there's R- original new cartoon. series, which I hear kids have been liking yeah. the new series. Yeah, it's the original great. cartoon. Because I, I have seen some channels, some local channels that have been showing the original series. So I hope kids are getting a chance to watch the original series as well yeah, we, and loving the characters. When it comes to the uh, toys and things like that, yeah, models, toys, uh, those kinds of things, I always think it should almost, almost, depending on the situation, should almost always be based off the original that made the new stuff what it is. I mean, you know. Yeah, but you also, if you're trying to get kids to buy stuff. You well, know, but, 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 but kids will play with their phones. Yeah. And it's sad. These are... These are more collectors, or like yeah. you're saying, collectors. Because the toy market is aimed at the collectors. All of us, yeah. Well, us people geeks. like us, we don't, we don't, <laughs> we don't grow up. No. We, but we grow up, but we don't grow up. We, uh, 
we may mature. We, we hold on to a nostalgia. We may mature, but we're, we're sentimentalists. We're sentimental. Because, you know, and, and it's funny, because any of, like, a... It's you, emotional as well. The, the older generations that they would say, well, you're so childish, you buy those toys. Like, yeah, well, what did Child you buy? Life. What did they buy that was because they had memories of stuff? Well, the fact... They did the same. I mean, we were sitting in a room, your mom's got stuff. Yes. Like, old signs from old stores yes. and all kinds of stuff that there's a, a sentimentality. A lot, it's just a fa- different the fact, type of sentimentality. The fact is, is uh, my father was a coat collector. Oh, and we're because, surrounded by it. Because he would... On the way out to trips every weekend, they would drive a couple hours away here and there. They used to work and live in Arkansas. And they on the way there, there'd be Coke signs on the highway, and they stop off at gas stations and things like that. And so he he was a sentimental person. There you and go. He'd hang on to things. And so now, why does she hang on to him? Because she loves my father. Right. And so she still feels like he's a part of her. And that is, the, we. everybody has a different sentimental side. Right. I'm not trying to pick down a particular people, by the way. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is that everybody has a different yeah. sentimental side and but everybody's a collector of I'm over, Yeah, I'm overall saying like the generations above that maybe wouldn't understand yeah. why we would use toys as a thing. It's like, well, they had a different item, but it's the same thing. Yeah, the whole point is that everybody right. is a sentimentalist in a Every, different everybody style. Everybody collects some sort of yeah. nostalgia. You have things in your home. You will decorate your that's home you with have, stuff that that's why you have makes your, you feel good. You have your sports fans. They, yeah, you are sports you, you people. Have, and, there's, mm-hmm. and like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, and there's everybody's different. Older sports fans, like a generation above us, they probably got stuff from, you know, they probably got Len Dawson cards. Yeah. You know, for anyone who doesn't know Len Dawson, he was like the, a Chiefs quarterback for the first time the Chiefs actually won a Super Bowl way back in the day. He does news here in Kansas City. Well, he, I think he retired from that now, didn't he? But who is that? Len Dawson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, like, I bet there are old sports fans that have stuff from old players from when they were a kid that they were, like, their sports heroes. This is why there are you know? there are doll collectors. There are uh, yeah. people who collect ornaments of sorts. So there's people who collect. I mean, you could almost, if you name it, shockingly, people collect it. Yeah. Stamps, even. Yeah. I mean, whatever makes you feel cards, good. Whatever it is. And don't berate somebody because you think what they collect is stupid. Yeah. Because that makes if that makes them feel good and they enjoy it and, and they decorate stuff with it, yeah. Because we're sitting in a room that's got it's pretty neat in here. Yeah. I, I like the, some of the decorations yeah. in here. But you know, people will decorate their homes with toys or whatever or video game stuff or whatever. That's what we do in our generation. Yeah. It's the same way as generations before yeah. us. It's just different items that that remind us of. Do, do people go overboard? Sure, I do. Yeah, there's people who do. <laughs> I do. I mean, there are some people that they have more money to throw at, and some people yeah. I think they throw more money than they should because they're yeah. running themselves broke. I worry, you know, yeah. you got to be careful. I have seen some people that are like, you're running yourself into debt. Yeah. And then I see people online like, where are you getting that kind of money? Because I've seen like on YouTube, we watch people who do like these sort of like, and they'll have the, the wall is just covered. You can't see the wall and it's all toys. Yeah. And I'm like, how do you have that kind of money? Yeah, but then again, who knows? Maybe they maybe some of that stuff they had a long time. Yeah, you just never could, well, a lot of it's new, like like Pixel Dan. I don't know where he's how his income works. He's got to be making money off of his videos, I swear, because he makes so many videos and he's able to get all these different toys and, and good for him. I, yeah, good for him. I wish I could do that. Yeah, good for I, him. I, I, I want to be in the position of these people that I see that are able to collect so much. Yeah, uh, and I, I, I want to have a life that, that is jealous. happy. We don't say that as jealous. I just I just good love what him. they're doing, and yeah. I want to be able to do it too. Yeah, good for them. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but I wish I had more space. I need a bigger house. I need uh, my wife would probably be kind of accepting. She's gonna give me weird looks. But if we had, you know, if I was yeah. raking in a lot of money and we had a good size house and I just cover the place in a lot of toys, she'd probably be like, "Well, all right." You know, you know, what I love about because she would though. have a bunch of stuff too. I believe me, I buy stuff for her. Yeah, you know, what I love about your wife though is that she is accepting. Yes, very accepting. She'll give. Oh, we scared her though yesterday. I had some fun with her. When we were driving over to the house to drop some stuff off because I bought some milk and cereal after we had bought in your 4K TV, I go inside and I look over at poor Heather, the bio nerd, she, or Wendy nerd. Uh, I, uh, I says, oh, you're going to come help us carry in this TV? She said, what? Uh, I said, oh, no, no, I'm just teasing. This is Phil bought the TV. I didn't buy a TV because I had, I had been talking to her earlier. It's like, yeah, Phil says 4K TVs are about $200 now. Yeah, at least the one, that, the one that I saw was on sale. Yeah, but but I did tell her so I don't feel like I need a 4K TV no. at this point. I'm very happy with the TV. I only bought it because I mean, we I'm, just bought new TVs when we moved into the house. I, I only uh, bought one because I'm saving up for a PlayStation, the new PlayStation, PlayStation 5, Five, which and, I'll run on my HD screen. So I, I I decided at this time, and only because I was on sale, I decided I'm going to go yeah. ahead and, and do it. And I do want to get that one for the new Spider-Man games. But anyways, so we're taught all this nostalgia to get onto where I'm hitting next. Yes, and this is what I call what you've been watching on Disney Plus. Now for you, it's going to be Netflix, but. You also watched. I, mean, I watched it. All. There are there are two episodes now of Muppets Now. Mm. I've watched both. Now the first episode. I want to watch the first one so far. 
Uh, well, I'll give you a full review of because I've watched two episodes, and mm. we're going to leave you with Transformers because I haven't watched that one. I've watched one episode. Uh, but so I, the first episode, I got to admit, was it, it was a bit of a fail. I did laugh at some stuff. Some of the stuff was pretty funny. But I, I, it does come across that some of these, like maybe it's the newer Muppet performers, some, they don't always seem to grasp yes. the characters. They don't seem to grasp what made the Muppets Same. funny. The Muppet mayhem is seemed to be missing. Other than the Swedish chef, he wrecked the kitchen. He, that was funny. That was the only part I even halfway yeah. giggled at. Yeah, that's, I laughed at that. But the rest of it was like, well, that's not funny. And I saw some of the problems that the ABC series had. Where Miss Piggy's too much of a diva, yeah. and she's missing the goofy frailties of being a pig that she had that made Miss Piggy charming. Because yeah, yeah, she's a little, she's a little full of herself, yes. But she was, a, she was charming back in the day, yeah. and the charm was gone. But Uncle Deadly was killing it. Yeah, still. he was the only part. That he was is fun. so yeah. He he kind of counters her. But now this second episode. Now, if you recall the old the Muppets ABC series, mm-hmm. it seemed like mid season. They figured a few things out, and they got on track, and it started getting a lot better. Yeah, and then it was done. But it was too late because they had already killed off a lot of fans. A lot of parents were upset about some of the adult-style humor that was too far that they didn't want to say, hey, my kid doesn't need this. Yeah. Uh, And so they they didn't feel like they could watch with their kids. And the Muppets, everybody should be able to watch together. The adults, the kids, everybody. And it took them mid-season, but it was too late to save the show. Yeah. Now, this second episode of Muppets Now, however... I, I felt like they were they got Miss Piggy have, struggling with stuff. Some of the Miss Piggy's frailties that makes her kind of comical and charming started to come back. Good. And then we had a fantastic Swedish chef. Because part of what makes Swedish chef funny is when he makes what he's trying to make, and it's like a bad pun. I, yes. I don't want to spoil it for you no, because no. you haven't watched it. But he makes what because he's he's making a particular type of dish, and he makes it technically. But it's all wrong. Yeah, but that, it's, that is very, that's part of what Shrewd Chef does. It, he gets it wrong, but yet somehow it's it's right. But it's also very wrong. Yeah, but it's punny. Yeah, uh, but I very do punny. I do appreciate the Swedish Chef. They're bringing in actual real some real guest Chef. star people too, and you kind of learn how to make something, but they don't get into the details, and that was kind of fun. And they had a really fun special guest. That I don't want to spoil for you. And the other funny thing is, is a. Uh, Nowadays, there are a lot more famous chefs and stuff out there. Yeah. You well, can, this time, it's not a... No. Although, he's not a chef who came in, but yeah. I guess he's got a... Uh, like a taco stand type yeah. of restaurant or something. He's famous saying, for tacos, but I, was, I don't want to tell you I'm who simply it is. saying that you could do that nowadays. Yeah. You could bring in whoever, and you could do that because you got a lot of famous people now that but and even some celebrities that just because heck even the Wahlberg brothers don't they have a burger shop that they started I believe so So and that's what they kind of did I'll go ahead it's Danny Trejo which oh yes yes he's got some sort of like Mexican restaurant thing I guess he started and he came in and he, was, he basically he, all right, I'm trying not to spoil the funny but he makes something some like a mole taco yeah now to, I, I try not to spoil the joke but you'll love this so mole is spelt yes. like mole. Yes, it is. Now just oh, I figured that out. Yeah. Now so think of how the Swedish chef could possibly have gotten that wrong, yeah. and I was dying. Yeah, it was so funny. Okay, all right. I'm, it'll still be funny when you see it. But he basically this mole muppet comes in, and Swedish chef wraps it in a tortilla, covers it with sour cream, and the mole's going yay! The mole's just enjoying it, and he's throwing and he won't cheese all and throwing cheese at the mole. Yeah. It was great. I loved it. So, yes, the second episode, I think, was at least 50% better. So, I'm, I'm going to continue on. I'm hanging on because I love the Muppets, and I want them to be great. And yeah, it's not great yet, but it's getting there. Because that first episode, I was very disappointed. Yeah, and even I saw even Steve Swanson, uh, who formerly of the Muppet cast, uh, even on Facebook, he was he was very disappointed in that first episode. Yeah. And I can understand and that. I, and I'll be honest. I did and not, I'm still excited. Though, I did not Muppets. like the guest on the first one. Uh, the guests, yeah, a lot of different guests. Really. Well, on that first one, uh, well, I was thinking of, uh, oh, uh, girl, you got a swing. I can't think of Oh, hey, RuPaul. RuPaul. I was sitting there thinking, really? This was obviously for children because the humor was so kiddish at times. Mm-hmm. And it was not funny. And and then uh, RuPaul. Yeah, that, that it, whole segment was just, it didn't work out as funny. They, no. I got what was trying to, what was supposed to be funny, being interrupted. Kermit yeah, trying to have the exactly. conversation, but. And, and then with RuPaul, and I was sitting there saying, kids aren't going to know who that is, nor, nor are they going to care. They like, might. Uh, the they parents might, might be having them I watch guess. RuPaul's got some sort of fashion show but or whatever. still, it was I like, know. really. The only, I only just remember him from when he was had like had one hit wonder. Yeah. You know. He did some had an old talk show and stuff back in the day. The segment itself was not funny no. because it was supposed to be like, oh, look, we're interrupting Kermit. But it didn't. 
It didn't work out. It's just more of annoying. I just, to thought, get that, I just thought that. But I want to be careful. But but we're not talking about all that. I'm right. say, simply saying that 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 time, if you if you had gone back like 15 years ago, that would have been back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. That would have been the time. You know, like yeah. the RuPaul but the was segment on. needed to be better written. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 the segment itself wasn't even fun. No, it, yeah, it wasn't. It was. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's just it wasn't. It wasn't as all, at yeah. all. It, it, it didn't, and a lot of this stuff wasn't funny. And then even uh, with this newer one, the first segment they did this game show with Pepe. Now it's been I mean, Scooter is basically supposed to be like the director of this game show that Pepe is supposedly hosting. Now Heather's thought was that Scooter should have been Kermit because it felt like Kermit should have been directing a show, but yeah, oh, it yeah. felt right with Scooter as a gopher, and Kermit just did not make an appearance at all though in, in episode two, which is weird. But they have two contestants on this game show that I think instead of these two humans that they were just random people. I don't. They weren't celebrities that I know of. They should have been some sort of Muppet character. Get Walter in there. And I would actually like to have seen, as much as I do love Pepe, I would love to have seen Guy Smiley. Granted, he's a Sesame Street, but Guy Smiley hosting oh, a game yeah. show. I love Guy Smiley. He's so funny. But it, he's still it, a Muppet have, character. He's still a Muppet it, yeah. character. But that segment, it, it had moments where it was, it was kind of funny. Uh, and even... Gonzo finally got to make an appearance and got to do something a bit more funny because I love Gonzo. Me and uh, he's got a bit in the game show thing that he shows up and it's kind of funny but a little predictable. Uh, so that fell a little flat. But yeah, the humor isn't quite there. But this one was at least 50% better. But anyway, so so I was watching Disney+. Plus. You have spent enough time on Netflix because the new Transformers War for Cybertron has... I watched the first episode. It's pretty good. There was one thing I really didn't like that I didn't like the... Uh, uh, Alita is her name, mm. but I noticed like because I'm used to you know Optimus Prime is revered yeah. and you don't you, no one talks back to him if you you yeah. have a question but there was respect and this character Alita which I'd never heard of it's, she's got an attitude with him it's like no no the, the Autobots wouldn't tolerate yeah that. it's it, it's is what they're doing so far and I've only watched the first yeah. few episodes like I think three or four. I mean, more than I have, but so I want uh, to watch more though. It's so so far it's, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. But um, I think what they're trying to do with her, I I don't know if she was the actual female character back in the day or if yeah. it's if RC. It's a, I remember. Uh, yeah. has, has RC made an appearance yet? I believe but, she wasn't in the first episode. What I think that they're doing is trying to make her a lot like her, except that they they she does have a bit of an attitude. Yeah. I think they're trying to make a kind of a questioning. Uh, in yeah. some ways, it's for us, but it, you know, like what we would like to say. But you know, this is a generation where things are a little different. But I didn't agree with her but, at all. But you know, in some ways, they're doing that. I think she's going to be one. There's two characters who are kind of like that right now. Yeah, yeah one is her. Magnus question, and but you have a good reason. What, but there's some story going on. One is her, there. and the one is one is her, and the other one is Bumblebee. Uh, who isn't really involved at this point. He's kind of on the outside. Yeah. I think you're supposed to have... Join. They're trying to give Maybe. you two people to live through at this point. Her and Bumblebee. And I think they're both going to learn a lesson, is what I think that they're going to do. Yeah, I would hope so. And, and, but it I, also seems maybe Optimus Prime is supposed to be, he's still learning to become the Optimus yeah. Prime that we know. And I thought maybe that's going there. But the attitude she had was like... A couple of episodes later, they kind of fixed that about her. So she kind of learned some things. So I was felt the same way on the first episode or so, and then I, like I said, I got to three or four of them, and she kind of really gets much better, and you start realizing that she kind of su- basically uh, gets smoothed out a little bit. So you're gonna you'll 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 start to like her a lot better after that. She kind of learns, so that part is cool. Jump into the fray of it. I don't know if I like this new take on Bumblebee. He was a he was a lovable guy, but, but I know he was. But I think that, that he'll get back well, into. I, that. I'm waiting but, for him to become that. He's kind of almost in a Luke Skywalker ish like like he's kind of being with made a bad be, attitude in the beginning of it. Yeah. And, but but it kind of changes it, you know. And th- then there's a character who I really like that they he kind of was a the sticker of him. I call it the sticker because I still think of the old, remember the old character, the old Is toys? that where you put the thumb yeah, on it to, it, change, it to make changed, it show Yeah, up? yeah. So, Otherwise you didn't know who they were. That's were exactly. Spies. Yeah, you can make those <laughs> spies. That's like, I think, third run of them. Anyhow, yeah. uh, it was kind of fun. Well, they have this one character on there who has, has a, accept, uh, what do they call it, Decepticon? Decepticon. Uh-huh. So Decepticon, but yet, He's choosing the side of working with the... Uh, yeah, because I, I think I know who you're talking yeah. about. He is one of the Jets. Yeah. But, 
I, I think he was one, like in the original series. I think he shows up later, and he like the leader of the aerial bots. I think that's it. I can't. I remember. can't think of his name. But he's saying basically. But yeah, I thought, no, I thought I he was a Decepticon. I'm like, oh, he's going to turn sides. I, I, I think it's kind of neat because he's like, hey, we may not agree on all things, but we're we're together on this, and I think that's kind of cool. I like how they do that. Cause it's saying just because you're different doesn't mean that you're different. You know, I, I like that. Just because you're different doesn't mean you're different. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's the truth. In, in a lot of things, people say just because you look different, just because you're of different size, doesn't mean you're really all that different. You right. Know? You, you guys have a lot more common than you think you do. Yeah. That's you know? that's a good message. Just because yeah. you don't agree on things don't mean you're all that different. Yeah. And, and I think there there's a go. lot of deep message in that. Yeah. For like, like I've been saying, like, we, you know, no matter how you say certain things, 50% of the people are going to be mad. 50% of the people are going to be happy about it. It all depends. We on your don't point have of view. to agree with the the main thing here, as we say on on this show, is we all enjoy a lot of the same things, and that's, that's exactly right. I bet some of you have got a bunch of toys on your wall too. And amen, brother. High yeah, five. That's right. Pixie dust. <laughs> yeah, we could have acted on a high five sound. There we go. There positive. you go. <laughs> so I, y'all know where we're where we're coming from yeah. on the basic things of what we enjoy, even if there's stuff that we have said probably in the show that you're like, I don't agree with that. And maybe you thought Muppets Now was complete garbage. Maybe you thought Muppets Now was fantastic. And that we were nuts. That's fine. Yeah. We're just giving you what we think. And if you want to tell us what you thought about it, what you loved about it, what you hated about it, feel free to send us an email, mm-hmm, email podcast at everlandpodcast.com. I love hearing from you. Hey, and make sure you get, speaking of reviews, I should get on iTunes. I have some new reviews and I forgot to look them up. I, well, I mean, I know I've, I know I've got them. I just, I, I don't have them up on my laptop. I don't think I can get to it that easy. But I should, be able, I should read some of those reviews later. We'll, we'll see if I can get to those later. But we do have some new reviews. But hey, get on iTunes or whatever and uh, write up some reviews. Let us know what you think of the show. That does help because it's, yeah. it's nice to know the people, what they think about the show overall. Sure. And also what you think about what we talk about. So, But overall, though, worth watching? Oh, I think it's... It looks fantastic, oh, i got to say. I th- one of the things I like, Woo. sometimes when they do remakes of things or whatever, or reboots or whatever, I, I, they, I think they kind of have a big miss. But when you do things like this where it's not really a reboot uh, or anything like that, but kind of a, a retelling of a story yeah. from long ago or it's almost like a, a nod to like a salute and everything because that's how I look at this like a salute to like hey we're not changing your story fans we're actually just telling your story that you already like and we're doing it in a way that's more almost an honor to you yeah and better than what those movies did. oh exactly sorry Michael Bay you just didn't quite hit it out of the park like yeah because those are big reboots where it's almost like hey your stuff it's pretty bad, but we think it could be better. Yeah. And I, but, but and now this is not that. The characters look like the old generation. That's what I like the most. Oh, man. I will say this: that last movie they did, I actually enjoyed that. What, the, the last the, night, the, the Bumblebee. Oh, the Bumblebee! Yeah, yeah. that one. I was actually like that. It John Cena Hillary did a good a lot job. Of popular movies, I think, but I, I really did enjoy it. Yeah, it I mean, yeah. Well, because it has John Cena, and, and Jeremy loves John uh, Cena. No. <laughs> I do respect Yo, that kind of the guy. guy. But he's a great guy. But he did a good job in the movie. And I think. Here we go. Uh, from T. Dixon 508 says, Great show. Five stars. Thank you guys for the trip down memory lane. I'm a big fan of Disney. No shame here. I was a little skeptical about the new Scooby-Doo movie, but it was actually pretty good. Keep up the awesome work, guys. Well, there's somebody who enjoyed Scooby. Yeah. I, they probably listened to the yeah, episode where we were bad. talking it's about not it. Not I was thinking about The best, but it's not bad. They, they had some toys. Mm-hmm. We saw... Yeah. Was also, we, we got to jump back on some toys. Oh, there you go. Because, of course, I did see the Dynamut toy, and I, I don't... I don't really like... I, I, I wanted to look a little dumb. Uh, but we did see it. they had a Captain Caveman toy. Yeah, yeah. I signed the whiplash. I found a little plush of uh, yeah, um, Muttley. Muttley. Wow, went out of my head. The, the, uh, as I say, but I was also going to mention that Battle Cat toy. The texture, yeah, new Battle Cat that was great. It was amazing. But yeah, on some Hanna Barbera toys. Yeah, I was going to say uh, they did a good job in the film of uh, Scoob in certain areas of it, and some things uh, they, I, I would have liked things a little differently, but it wasn't bad. Dino Mutt wasn't much like Dino Mutt, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, he seemed he, to be missing something. First of all, he was too smart. And maybe it was because they didn't want him to be too much like Scooby. Uh, Scooby's not stupid, incidentally. He's just... Yeah. He's just kind but of... Dino Mutt is. He's supposed to be really <laughs> a, a kind of... Uh, He's him, a dog. Him, He's and, a dog him and Scooby Dumb were, were a lot alike. <laughs> I liked Scooby Dumb. Oh, I did Dumb, too. I did too. Funny. It's just that, that they were both not the, the sharpest tool in the shed. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Yeah. It's Don't just, want you to get your two hour off track. I want to get another review yeah. in. So, uh, all that being said is that, that that was a pretty good show. Uh, and, uh, 
I'm I probably going to end up seeing it eventually. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I'm not looking forward to it, you know, because what I've seen, I've been a little, little skeptical. But, you know, some people kind of like it, so maybe the, I'll The, the great thing it, about but, them having Dino Mutt and Captain Caveman is there used to be the Dino Mutt Captain Caveman hour. Yeah. There. So I enjoyed that. Anyways, I want to hop along and keep the show going. Yeah. So another, another review says, My favorite podcast by C Dog Yo Yo. Oh, that's yo, yo. fun. That's cool. Uh, five stars. This podcast is very entertaining and informative. I have been consistently listening ever since I discovered it. Love what you do, Jeremy. Keep it up. Way well, thank you. Thank, and, and by the way, we love having your reviews. Once, so like I said, go to iTunes now. I have heard that there's ways that I can find any reviews that people write up on Stitcher or other formats. Uh, so I think it's like mypodcastreviews.com. I need to look that up and to see. Because it also will help me find international reviews because apparently iTunes will not show me reviews than anyone does. If you're not listening here in the United States, I don't always get to see it. But I'm going to work on it and try to be able to see all those reviews too and to see what y'all have been saying. And hope you all are enjoying the show and having fun. Spanning the Disney and Geek Universe to bring you the best in comics, toys, movies, and entertainment. This is news from around Neverland. Okay, so we did see yesterday, it's like a Black Series figure. It's in the Black Series box, and it's called Mandalorian the Child. And it's a little, mm. and I, I had thought it was just this, you know, this goofy little thing of the yeah. child. It was a little thing, but you had commented that that looks actually perfect size if you put him in relation to the other figures. Yeah. And they said, oh my gosh, it's a Black Series. But they do have, the Hasbro mini, they're calling it a minifigure. Walt Disney World does have that available. Ah. Uh-huh. So you can get that. But also something else, I didn't realize this was coming. It's neat looking, I like it. It is neat. Yeah, it is neat. Well, take a look at this. They're calling it the Stitched Up oh. Flesh Toys. They have a Mickey, Minnie, and a Pluto. This looks like... The original. Like the, Well, a lot better than the original, because you saw those original. Oh, terrible, yeah, but... I, but it has that, that fabricated, the, the, stitched the together. The style look. of the original. And look at his shorts. He's even got, like, like a flower pattern on his shorts, like it's on a, like on a fabric. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. It's the style. Amazing. Yes, it's that style. These are, are the retail at $22.99, something like $23 at the parks right now. That's cool. I want to see if this is on Shop Disney. Or <laughs> I, know I, I don't need another Mickey Flash. But these are great because it looks like so the, the got, different colors was, they got a Pluto were stitched on. Like that even? Pluto and Mickey and a Mini so far. Uh, well, that's at least all I've seen pictured. There might be other ones on the way, but they look like they would have been handmade. That's cool. That is it's such a fantastic design. I really love it. But these are now available at Walt Disney World. Over in Epcot, they have a figment there you that go. goes on your shoulder. I love figment. Look at this. Where did, oh, I had a, there was a picture of a cast member over here on WD. Now that today. is cool. I love figment. But it's a figment that you can put up on. There it is. It Here's is a cast member demonstrating figment sitting on your shoulder. Now they also have the, the Ratatouille guy Ratatouille, Remy, Remy. on the red, yeah. other shoulder. Holy monkey, uh, I think I need that. You think you need it or want it? I I know, it's a want, I know, I'll admit it's a want, but Uh, it's a figment that rides on your shoulder! That is pretty cool. Now, I almost wonder if, and I don't don't think it is, but how cool would it be if they had it as a puppet, kind of like those, um, uh, the Avatar Pandora, um, Mm. uh, they're not dragons, I forgot what to call them, I'm sorry, but they have a little thing, I think Eric's got one. But it's a, like, almost a little puppet. You can move the head around with a little, that'd little be cool. wire. A, a figment like that. If, if this thing could move like that, that'd be great. But I think it just sits on your shoulder as a plush. Either way, it's adorable, and I would like to have one. Imagination. And speaking of which, annual pass holders. Pass holders can receive 30% off select ShopDisney.com purchases through August 14th. Running out of time. As the 30% off select merchandise purchases at Walt Disney World Resort. Owned and operates merchandise locations now through the 14th. And so I pass holders are really the only ones getting into the park pretty much right now. Mm. Uh, but while you're there, there's a discount because Disney has been struggling. This, I mean, this whole thing has been rough on Disney as well. A lot of companies, even the parent company for the radio station I used to work for, is even though small markets are apparently doing well, the larger markets are struggling. Yeah. Including, and Disney is hurting, unfortunately. 
All right, so other bits of just news I just wanted to touch on. Wilford Brimley passed away a yes. couple of weeks ago. Love him. Uh, my goodness. I think mainly because Cocoon, you, he was only 50 when he made Cocoon. But you didn't know that because he, he looked fit older. On. Also, he was on a Star Wars movie. Wilford Brimley? Yes, he was. He was on the the, uh, the Ewoks. He, Ewok, uh, yeah. the, the, the second one. There we, uh, there's your connection to mm-hmm. Disney, folks. There you go. And but I of course everybody I remember him. It was it was it Life Goes On? What was that show he was on? With? It was like Deidre yeah. Hall was the mother. He was yeah. her father. Life Goes On, I believe, uh, or maybe not. I don't remember what it's called. But he he was just great. And and that's when they had like Corky. I, was that what Corky he, was on? Uh, I used to call it the Corky Show. I don't remember if that was the, what it was or not. But I do know this. He was just so had great. A Beatles song for the theme. I think that was the yeah, show. That it was Life Goes On. Yeah. Yep. 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 Already. Already. Life Goes On. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Wilfred Brimley was that show. He, I remember uh, watching that one. It was kind of a drama. He had, was a, a, cute, had a cute daughter, teenage he, daughter. Yeah, well, but she, she was later on the, what Christy? Yeah, Christy. Was it? She was. She is great. Uh, mm-hmm. She's still she's good cute. Looking. But uh, the fact is, is um, it, Wilford Brimley and anything he did yeah. was awesome. I love him as the oatmeal man. Diabetes. Yeah, he was good, awesome. Oatmeal is good to help with your diabetes. Yeah, he's we, great. I can attest to that. It's he's helpful. awesome. He's a, he's great. The, the the part of that that frightens me is when I looked at his because he had been on dialysis for a while and it was just slowly deteriorated and because basically diabetes is what's got him eventually and that was will get me. Well, That's, unless something happens, you otherwise never know, buddy. that is. That but, is the, the path. I'm, but here's the thing. He, he was 85. He yeah. lived a good long yes, life. Yes, he did. So, he, but he fought it. He did he great. Did, yeah, and I'm, I'm trying to take care of myself as well. So I know because that is, once, once you're diagnosed, that is what's going to get you, barring something else happening. But yeah. I can still have a good long life. So anyway, if you anybody else out there like me who's diabetic, you keep taking care of yourself. You can live a good, long, happy, productive life. Until, and you can live to be 85. He did a he did a lot of great great films and shows and mm-hmm. he did one of my favorite episodes of Seinfeld, really, uh, where he was a uh, mailman. Oh, okay. and he he uh, Kramer decided that he no longer wanted mail and would be involved with the mail uh, in the post. Kramer, office. yeah, he decided he no longer wanted to be involved with the post office, and so. Kramer, who's good friends with uh, Newman, who's involved. Yeah, he was a mailman. Newman would be so, a new, new man. So, Newman. So, uh, but Dotson, we got Dotson. Therefore, here. what was great was uh, you get to see Wilford Brimley setting him down and talking to him. He goes, "You want that mail, don't you? Don't you?" And he, 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 <laughs> said, he says, uh, uh, "I don't. I don't really." He goes. He goes. He goes. He goes. I take it seriously. He, he goes. I I take my job pretty seriously because then, by God. I'm proud of my job. <laughs> there you go. And I can see Wilford Brimley. Oh, he was so too. good. Then. <laughs> yeah. But uh, here's this, uh, it's a sad loss. He was he was yes, a great he actor. He was wonderful. Did a lot of good movies. Yes, he did. He but sure uh, did. speaking of movies, I, I, I got to keep the show going here. So uh, this is boy, this has been controversial. So Disney announced that the Mulan live action movie. Now a lot of theaters were excited, hoping to be able to get it on there. They've been wanting to reopen yeah. with a big movie because when's it coming? As much as those live action movies, I've been kind of eh. They've yeah. been making a lot of a billion. Money. I think yeah. they've been hitting a billion each one. And it uh, looks pretty good. And it, this one, I was thinking, looks is good. So I, I would love like the to see movie it. Mulan. I think it's great. But now here's the thing: they're going to put it on Disney Plus. Oh. With a twenty nine ninety nine surcharge on September fourth. So you're paying your subscription to Disney Plus. Mulan will come on to Disney Plus, but if you want to watch it, twenty nine ninety nine. But then you can watch it as many times as you want. Now that, if you have a large family, that might be the cost of going to a movie theater. Maybe I'm not doing it. But yeah, I, a lot of us we're not going to pay twenty nine ninety nine. Now, if I was buying to own the movie, I would I wouldn't pay thirty for it. No. But I, you know, that kind of money, I would buy the movie. Yeah. If, but I want to see it before I buy it. Yeah. Uh. So. This is going to hurt. Now, I'm sure a lot of people who are, are, are probably still going to go for it, but there's been a lot of people like, what are you doing? Now, movie theaters are upset, too, because they really were looking forward to putting this film in their theater. I think it's a big miss. French theater owner, I don't know what his name was. I did see it. Um, I didn't I, I didn't name him out. But he destroyed, he had like a, one of those stand-up posters. Yeah. There's a viral video of him taking your baseball back to it in his theater. Because theaters are struggling because people have not been able to go back. Now, some theaters yeah. are trying to show old movies. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're working on getting, they They're trying to stay alive. And I really want to go and patronize some theaters. Yeah. I want to. There's been some times I've wanted to go out and see, like, the old Ninja Turtles movie. I've heard Jurassic Park playing. Uh, there's a drive-in with showing The Empire Strikes Back. I haven't gotten a chance to go out. But, show their patronage, yeah. 
Patreon. Yeah, to go on Patreon. You don't want to patronize that. So that's that's not healthy. Well, yeah. Patron, I want you to be. I want to go watch a movie. We'll put it yeah, like I was just saying, I don't think this would be the right thing to do. I would go patronize, patronize them. If there's other words, it's like it's patronage is what you've done. But when you go there, you're going to, I don't know, whatever. But you know I want to yeah. eat. I don't know I want to go. Them. I want to go to a movie because uh, I. Part, you know, one of the biggest things we do on this show, other than we had a lot of fun talking toys, we cover a lot of movies. That's that's yes. almost our bread and butter, especially during the summer. And it's been kind of rough putting shows together because yeah. that's been a lot of bread and butter. We talk a lot about movies. Yeah. And so not having – there's so – and I was watching. There's so many movies that were supposed to come out. Black Widow. Yes. New James Bond movies. Yes. So many movies. Tenet, which Bill I don't know Ted. a whole lot, but Bill, well, I got news on Bill and Ted. Hold on to okay. that thought. That Tenet movie, I did. It was, it's a spy thriller. I don't understand what's going on it's in it, but good. it's a Christopher Nolan. But it looks cool. And there's a few others that and there's, really people have been excited. To. There's so many movies that were supposed to come out that have been pushed, and even Reward Soul might get pushed away. And I'm, so, it's a oh, Pixar movie. Can't wait. To that see looks that. so good. And I'm like, oh, this this great theater experiences that I've been looking forward to. I'm losing. I know. All from, oh, this whole virus thing drives me crazy. Um, but speaking of Bill and Ted. I actually do have a new trailer. Let's uh, let's listen to that real quick because we got to go to the trailer park. Mama, now the gator got in the house. Now the gator? Give me that sugar. Come here. Oh, oh, get him, oh, Get that gator. Oh, yeah. ah. The Neverland Trailer Park. When your wives suggested couples therapy, do you think that this is what they had in mind? Definitely. I mean, we're a couple of couples, right? Bill, Ted, enough of the delusions. You didn't time travel, and you didn't go to heaven and hell. Here's a real idea for you. Be role models to your daughters. Get real jobs. <laughs> Bill, we've spent our whole life trying to unite the world, and I'm tired, dude. Ted, we have a destiny to fulfill. Whoa. Whoa. Greetings, my excellent friend. We have a problem. Step forward. A song created by Preston Logan. Performed tonight will save reality as we know it. Oh. oh. Dude, we better write that song now. Or why can't we just go to the future when we have written it? And take it from ourselves. Except, won't that be stealing? Cheers! <laughs> Is that stealing? If we're stealing it from ourselves, dude. Dude, our dads are totally in trouble. Yeah! Yeah! We should help them out. Yeah! No way. How's, How's it going, going Bill and Ted? Ted? We're putting together a most extraordinary band. Hey, you want to be in our band? Oh. Oh, this is so fantastic. We're gonna go talk to Death. Is he playing hopscotch by himself? Dude, he's cheating. Hey, Death. Why, for this in the wild stallion. Let's rock! Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Yeah, Billy, Death! How you doing? Well, you know, Dead and we're in hell. But how you doing? We're good. good. Now, okay, so there's the trailer audio. All I'm gonna say, yes, we're still still super excited. But Alex Winters put out a tweet. He says the release date is August 28th. Hoping nothing changes, but that is going to be on demand and theaters same day. Now, if something goes wrong, it might not get into theaters. We might not be able to go to theater, but. That's my hope, though. We're going to get the, to go. the the frightening thing is some people who who maybe don't are afraid to go to a theater. They're going to go on demand, and that's that's good at least if people you know on demand. That means you're buying the movie at yeah. least, and you're, you're renting. Uh, so the movie's still going to make some money. That's good for the movie, but the movie theater needs it. So if this thing gets into the theater August twenty eighth, buddy, we're going. We're going, and I will tell you what. I don't like popcorn, but I will buy candy. I will buy drinks. I want my and, theaters open. And I'll have something for you if we go. I got something for you. Okay? Nice. All right. Don't worry about it. I'll so, take care. Yes. Of it. August twenty eighth. Alex Winter says we will get Bill and Ted face the music. That's it. Excellent. Yes. All righty. And all right. So anything. Well, you know what? That's all the major bits of news that I have 
for you. And uh, you know what? I think we're at a pretty good run are, time. Yes. And wild stallions rule. Wild stallions. <laughs> yes. And remember this. Be, be excellent to be each. excellent to one another. And party on, dudes. That's it. Thank you for listening to the Neverland Podcast. We invite you back next week for more fun and adventure. Until then, remember to keep a pixie in your pocket. It's that young at heart, positive attitude that you can share with others. And remember to visit our website at NeverlandPodcast.com. There you can find links to our news page, our shop, our contact page, where you can easily send an email to podcast at NeverlandPodcast.com. You can also find our Neverlanders page, where you can find out how to become an official Lost Boy or Pixie, because girls are too clever to get lost. Become a real Neverlander. Please feel free to leave us a voicemail at 816-226-6492. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at NeverlandPCast. And like our Neverland Podcast fan page on Facebook. We also have a group on Facebook for you to join. We also appreciate your support to keep the Neverland Podcast up and running. Visit Patreon.com slash Neverland Podcast to donate to Keeping the Pixie Dust Alive. Copyright content featured on the Neverland Podcast is copyright of their respective creators and used under fair use license. All original content is copyright of Blue Band Productions and a very special thanks to Yeehaw Bob Jackson at yeehawbob.com for our new ending music. God bless! Yeah! Hello everybody, this is Yeehaw Bob Jackson. Neverland Podcast, we love you. Neverland Podcast, we love you. Neverland Podcast, it's true. Neverland Podcast, we love you. Yeah! Yeah! (laughs) Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why! Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why! I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. And now, an Etsy holiday gifting mission. Today's episode, Operation Handcrafted and Affordable. Here's the situation. It's the holidays, which means you're on a mission to find handcrafted affordable gifts. You want items that will brighten the spirits of everyone on your list, but won't blow your budget. Sure, it sounds impossible, but there's no need to make shopping for gifts feel like it has the suspense and high stakes of a heart-pumping action franchise. It's time to simplify your gifting experience with Etsy. Whether you're searching for handmade home pieces like serveware, cutting boards, and throw pillows for your favorite holiday hosts, or personalized items like necklaces, handbags, and seasonal jackets for your most stylish friends and family, Etsy has it. Get handmade items for all budgets and any gifting mission. New to Etsy? Use the code HOLIDAY10 for 10% off your first purchase. That's code HOLIDAY10. Maximum discount value of $50 expires December 31st, 2023. See terms at etsy.com terms. Shop Etsy.com. Etsy has it.